hello traders welcome back to another video so in today's video we're gonna be talking about brokers in south africa guys so brokers that are in south africa are very good when coming to trading usdt nasdaq and those good indices that everyone likes to trade but like going to the deeper side of everything guys these brokers are not good at all guys and uh, i have been using like one of them i have been using like jp markets of which jp markets will be coming back or it's back already it's operating but like they are not talking about like the refunds that we lost in their platform guys in their broker guys just because most of us traders lost a lot of money when it comes to jp markets i won't lie guys a lot of people lost money around that year whereby jp markets was getting like laws lawsuits was catching cases left and right and center so i don't know if they are addressing that with all the clients just because already i think i didn't get any message whereby your dashboard is back your money is back on your platform and all of that stuff you can just withdraw or you can just continue trading so with all those brokers and all of that stuff let's talk about like the slippages when coming to trading like news and all of that stuff guys these people make money out of those slippages i won't lie guys like you will get like a slippage whereby you cannot even close a trade guys i'll show you like a video around here you guys going to host you're hosting a biggest event you can't close my mind this one guys they want me to blow yeah yes not nice you'll eat pop with movite these local brokers sm let's put a stop loss there we did put a stop loss but even now i still can't close uh, <laughs> uh well, yeah trade for five it's a lazy game it's a hello you will see that you cannot even close a trade even if like you're in profit and then even if you take a screenshot whereby you go back to them and show them that i couldn't even close the, the entry just because there was like slippage and all of that stuff your platform was jamming and all of that stuff they won't even attend to that they will just tell you that uh, there was the market volatility you traded during like uh, new york session or the new york open and all of that stuff or it was cpi you already know that cpi is a very volatile news event why did you trade in that news event whereby we want to make money guys the reason why we signed up with your broker is for us to make money so why are you giving us like those slippages guys why are you giving us those slippages and uh, another thing that i want to talk about is the express funding or express thingy about a pro firm that is starting up with the uh, FX goals, they started like a pro firm whereby they call it express funding or express. I don't know the express what what, but like now uh, what I've seen is that people think that it's very steep, guys. It's very expensive to a point whereby they surpass FTMO with the uh, money that they require for you to get an account. Of which it's not bad. It's not bad at all. FTMO is a very very good pro firm whereby it's very expensive, but like I understand the expense whereby they give their clients or they give like their traders very good services whereby they give you withdrawals they give you um, necessary attention whereby if you need anything you can just contact support and then get the necessary information that you need get the necessary things that you need when coming to your trading journey and then with express i don't know what will happen with express just because each and everyone is just waiting on the sidelines just because there was a lot of backlash with FX goats. There was like a lot of things that they have been talking about whereby they have been like exposed with a lot of things. They have been doing like all the wrong things, but like no one is perfect. No one is uh, wanna be like perfect in the markets just because everyone does like mistakes. Everyone does like a stance whereby they want to get like clients and get like those nice signups and get like the spec left and right and center. But like when it comes to express funding what i'll do is that i'll just wait and see if i get a free account just because already i am in the youtube space and then if you don't know most of the prop firms what they do is that they come to you if you are a big uh, influencer or if you have like a youtube channel like this one they offer you an account whereby you just have to review like each and every service they offer see if like they do withdrawals see if like they do like each and everything that they promised the client before signing up and then that is when you get the account trade with them if you get the to the payout stage you get the payout and then what you do is that you have to post a video like this one here 
showing them that you got the withdrawal you did this from phase one you did this from phase two but like what i'll do is that i'll wait up until if i get like an invitation to review express funding from the fx codes then i'll do like the review and see if like they do as they say or they do as they advertise just because there is a lot of things that go on in the prop form space another thing that happened not so long ago is that mmf got a lawsuit whereby they closed a business and then now i think they are coming back also i think like they won the case or they won the the, the lawsuit whereby they are continuing with the operation but like they still do not talk about the money that the people lost guys this is the clear fact whereby you can see that people are out there trying to get the bag and then you get closed or you get account being closed up whereby when it comes back you don't get your refund you don't get your account you don't get anything so uh, i'll be waiting to see if like jp market pays back the clients that they closed up with like funds and all of that stuff if we get paid then i'll show you like a video whereby we got our funds back and then from mmf i didn't have like any account i didn't trade with them for a long while just because i lost an account with them obviously it was okay just because the rules that they have is a bit different from the other programs that i was trading and yeah i'll just wait and see if uh, we get like a clear thing whereby we see if uh, we get a clear decision of like jp markets and also mmf if we get like refunds then i'll see if like we uh, do another video yeah i'll see you on another video guys i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you got some value from it and yeah i'll keep posting more videos guys for this year for this year and next year guys also just keep subscribing keep clicking the like button and keep commenting with the right comments guys i'll see you on another video peace and love